Hi, and welcome to Bible Buddy. And today we are reading for day number 326. Let's pray. Dear God, I am so grateful for your love and grace. And because you loved me, I am able to love others in every circumstance. Father, give me strength to walk in obedient love and to look for opportunities to care for others around me. And as your love increases in me, Lord, may my selfishness decrease. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, if you have your Bible, let's open up to Luke 13. There were present at the season time at this at that season some that told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Jesus answering said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans, because they suffered such things? I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. For those eighteen whom upon whom the tower in Solomon fell, and slew them, think ye that they were in sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. He spake also this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and came and sought fruit therein, and found none. They said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I have come seeking fruit in this fig tree, and find none. Cut it down, why cumbered it with the ground? And he answering said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it and dung it. And if it bear fruit, well, and if not, then after that, Thou shalt cut it down. And he was teaching one of, in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity eighteen years, and was bowed together, and could in no wise lift herself up. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him, and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. And the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation, because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day, and said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to work, and then therefore come and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. And then the Lord answered him, saying, and said, Thou hypocrite! Doth not one of you on the Sabbath loose his ox or his ass from the stall, and lead, lead him away to watering? And then, And art not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan hath bound, lo, these eighteen years be loose from, his, from this bond on the Sabbath day? And when he had said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed, and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. Then said he, Unto what is the kingdom of God like? And whereunto shall I resemble it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and cast into his garden, and grew it, and waxed a great tree, and the fowls of the air lodged in the branches of it. And again he said, Whereunto shall I liken the kingdom of God? Is it like heaven, which a woman took and hid three measures of meal, till the whole was leavened? And he went through the cities and villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. Then said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Strive to enter in at the straight gate for many. I say unto you, Will seek to enter, and shall not be able. When once the master of the house is risen up, and hath shut to the door, and ye begin to stand out without, and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us, and he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence ye are, and then, then shall ye begin to say, We have eaten and drunk in thy presence, and thou hast taught me in, your, in our streets. But he shall say, I tell you, I know not whence ye are, depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, when ye shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves thrust out. 
and they shall come to the east, and from west, and from the north, and from the south, and shall sit down in the kingdom of God. And behold, there was la there are last which shall be first, and there are first which shall be last. The same day there came a certain of the Pharisees, saying unto him, Get thee out, and depart thence, for Herod will kill thee. And he said unto them, Go ye, and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out devils, and I do cures today, and tomorrow, and the third day, I shall be perfected. Nevertheless, I must walk today, and tomorrow, and the day following, for it cannot be that a prophet perish out of Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which killest the prophets, and stonest them that are sent unto thee, how often would I gather thy children together as the hen doth gather her blood under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate, and verily I say unto you, ye shall not see me until thine time come, when ye sh shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. And it came to pass, as he went out into the house of one of the chief Pharisees to eat bread on the Sabbath day, they watched him. And behold, there was a certain man before him which had dropsy, the, the dropsy. And Jesus answering spake unto the lawyers and the Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day? And they held their peace, and they took him and healed him and let him go, and answered him, saying, them saying, Which of you shall have an ass or an ox fall into a pit? and will not straightway pull him out on that Sabbath day. And they could not answer him again into these things. And he put forth a parable to those which were bitten. And he marked how they juice out the chief rooms, saying unto them, When thou art bitten of any man to a wedding, sit not down in the highest room, lest a more, more honorable man than thou be bitten of him. And he that bade thee, and come again, Come and say to thee, Give this man place, and thou begin to shame to take the lowest room. And when thou art bidden, go and sit down in the lowest room. And he that bade thee cometh, and may say unto thee, Friend, go up higher. Then, thou sh then shalt thou have worship in the presence of them that sit at meat with thee. For whosoever exalted, exalted himself shall be abased. And he that humbled himself shall be exalted. Then he said also to him that bade him, When thou makest a dinner or a supper, call not thy friends, nor thy brethren, neither thy kinsmen, nor thy rich neighbors, lest they also bid thee again, and a recompense be made thee. And when thou makest a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and thou shalt be blessed, for they cannot recompense thee. And for thou shalt be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. And one of them that sat at meat with him heard these things, and said unto him, Blessed is he that shall eat the bread of the kingdom of God. Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper, and bade many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, all the things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground. I must need, needs to go, go and see it. I pray thee have me excuse. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen. And to go to prove to them, I pray thee have me excuse. And another said, I have a married wife, and therefore I cannot come that the servant came and showed his lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and to bring in hither the poor, and the maimed, and the halt and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house be filled. For I say unto you, that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. And there went a great multitude with him, and turned, and said unto them, If any man come to me, 
and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also. He cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you intending to build a tower and sit it not down first and count it the cost, whether have he have sufficient to finish? Less happily, after he hath laid the foundation, and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build, and was not able to finish. Or what king, going to make war against another king, sit it not down first, and consulted whether he be able with ten thousand to meet him that cometh against him with the twenty thousand, or else while the other is yet a great way off, he sendeth an ambassage, and desireth conditions of peace. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. Salt is good, but what the salt have? What if the salt has lost its his savor? Where shall it be seasoned? Is it neither fit for the land, nor yet for the dunghill, that men cast it out? And he that hath ears, let him hear. Well, thank you so much for reading along with me, and I will see you again tomorrow. God bless.